The black community suffers from the worst health disparities. The Minister of Wellness Ministries is the only pro-black Bible-based health ministry of its kind. We teach biblical health principles that can eradicate obesity and disease. We have everything you need to feel better than you've ever felt in your life. Act now to get your biblical health ebook and DVD both for free. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, TheMinisterOfWellness.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I'm Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Somalia. The two leaders are fighting again, the prime minister and the president. So the president, Farmajo, has officially fired the prime minister, but the prime minister is saying he's not leaving his power. He is going to continue doing what he's doing. Let me show you this clip. We'll come back and discuss. Somalia's president says the prime minister is suspected of corruption and is now suspended. Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed accuses Mohammed Robel of stealing land owned by the army. The prime minister says the move is an indirect coup. I would like to clarify to the Somali people that the government in this transitional phase is responsible for leading the country and running the affairs of various state institutions. So the armed forces should take orders from the government and the prime minister's office. Anyone who disagrees with this will have to present it to the judiciary. It's quite interesting, isn't it? The president and the prime minister not seeing eye to eye. And they're the same leaders and they're leading the same country. But I believe the president has more power. You know, in some countries like Ethiopia, uh, prime ministers have uh, most of the power. President is more for, you know, namesake or like it's, you go and inaugurate things or you sign on things. It doesn't have real power. Usually the prime minister is the head of state. I guess it's not the same concept um, in Somalia. It's actually the president that has the power, right? So now President Farmajo does not want the prime minister and he's accusing him of corruption. So me, uh, personally, I'm going to ask our viewers, especially if you're from Somalia, please comment down below. Tell us what exactly you guys are feeling on the ground and how do you see things and whose side are you on? Because I have noticed the U.S. have taken sides and they have taken the side of the prime minister. So because of that, now I have a huge question mark on the prime minister. Why are the U.S. supporting you? you you know, whenever the Western world supports someone, you got a question, you got a question because who knows what kind of deal they are making with them. So if you're from Somalia, please let us know down below because we would love to hear from you guys. Anyways, guys, I'll update you. I'll see how this goes and how it unfolds. But if the U.S. is on the prime minister's side, fam, I am side eyeing the prime minister. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about what is going on in Somalia. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.